My guest tonight is one third of the multi platinum rap group Migos and one half of hip hop's most intriguing marriage, too. Now, he's producer and judge of a new reality competition show called The Hype, premiering August 12th on HBO Max. Please give it up for my boy, Offset! <laughs> Offset. Yes, sir. How did you get your name? As a kid, I was always a little off. So <laughs> I knew I was going to be on set of the camera, so I just put the set at the end, so you got offset. OK, there we yeah. go. There we go. There we go. All right, all right, so you set me off there. You know, I got my mom outside on Hollywood Boulevard having a date with her new man, Irvin, possibly my new daddy. Mama! Oh, mama! You hear that? Mama, uh, are you involved, or how involved are you in your mother's love life? Um, I'm very involved. <laughs> okay, well let's talk, let's talk about that. My mama's married, but I'm still involved. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 okay, speaking of marriages, you you you're married now to Cardi B. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> right. Now. Let's talk about your first date with your wife. My first date, I went big. Uh -huh. I wanted to do something that was not normally done. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to have fun. Right. And not so serious and like, you know, mm -hmm. enjoyable time. So I took her to the Super Bowl. <laughs> OK, which, which, which Super Bowl was that? I don't know the number. Uh, no, no. But well, I know who who's playing, though. Who played? Atlanta Falcons, my team okay. versus them Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, I was at that game, too. It, it was a great game up until the fourth quarter. Three minutes left. Oh, man. We up 23. What was I think it was... I think we was up by 20 points. 23 yeah, 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 to 20. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. were up. Then Tom Brady with the Superman, um, whatever, yeah. whatever powers he be having. Yeah, he had some powers. Yeah, and then, it was, then, then he ended us. I lost $10,000 that night, too. 10000 Yes. OK. That, but you know that, what that, I won? Uh-huh. My wife. Ah! <laughs> That's not a bad consolation prize. Not at all. St speaking of prizes and gifts and all of that, let let let's just uh, you know, just run down the list of gifts that you guys <laughs> have uh, shared with one another. Uh, she's given you a Rolls Royce. Uh huh. Uh, it says here worth over three hundred thousand. A diamond pendant, worth over two hundred and fifty thousand. A refrigerator <laughs> filled with a half a million dollars in it, <laughs> and a golden Lamborghini worth over another half a million dollars. Now, you Pressure. have given her. And now these are just birthday and Valentine's Day <laughs> gifts. All right, you have given her a Lamborghini SUV. A 20 karat diamond ring modeled after the necklace from the Titanic <laughs> that is worth over a million dollars. A Rolls Royce worth over $300,000. And your baby girl, Culture, uh, just uh, celebrated her third birthday, and you gave her a $150,000 diamond necklace? No, I gave her a Richard Mill, so you, uh, it was 150, but during the time when she's like 12, it might it'd be a million dollars. <laughs> OK, I get that. Invest. Invest. I understand. And you forgot. And, I... you, and, you, and you skipped out. It was two rings. It was two rings. Yeah, see, I proposed with one ring uh -huh. in Philly, bye-bye, on stage. Boom. Then I came back, and I doubled the size. So it was a 10 carat at first. Ooh. And then I got 22 carat. OK. We all ain't able to do that. God is we, good. We are, yeah, 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 God all the blessing. time. All the time. Now, now, uh, looking at these extravagant gifts, um, your wife seems like she's the type of woman who would expect a push gift <laughs> after pushing these babies out. Do you have a push gift in mind? No. No. I feel like the, 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 the gift is the beautiful child. OK, I agree. I'm going to get her a gift, though. You going to get her a gift? I got to. OK, I understand. Now, now uh, I, I like to fight for men getting push gifts, too. 
All right? Because you know what? We pushed the baby in. Okay. Okay. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this will be your fifth child. Five. Five. Somebody been busy. <laughs> Five. Now, now, I, I, are, are, are we at liberty to talk about the sex of the baby or the name that you've chosen for the baby yet, or is that still a secret amongst family and friends? Still a mystery. It's a little mystery? Still a mystery. Okay. Well, well, keeping up with the mystery, we'll be right back with Offset after this. Street Wheels explosive. Welcome to the hype. I am so excited. Only one of you will be the winner of this streetwear competition. Please, I'm about to kill this. Let's go! Streetwear is about overcoming and breaking through. The whole world is waiting for you to don't blow that opportunity. That's yeah. fire. Welcome back. I'm here with Offset, and we just saw a trailer for The Hype, which premieres August 12th on HBO Max. Offset, tell the people what this show is. Hey. So, <laughs> so this show, The Hype, is... I'm a judge with Beth and Marnie. Shout out to them. And we're giving these kids that come from the streetwear world an opportunity to be able to become a big brand because a lot of those guys get overshadowed. There's no show like this where we shine the light on streetwear, which is one of the biggest things in, in, in our current time right now. Right. And um, it's just giving an opportunity to those guys. They get to win 150 grand. Okay. And a collab with StockX, which is major. In, 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 the, in the fashion world, and it's mm -hmm. just giving a chance for the youth to be seen, man, because a lot of these bigger brands, I don't want to name them, and, right. but a lot of these bigger brands, they, don't, they take ideas and, and get ideas, and they make all the money for it, and these kids don't get acknowledged, and they don't get a fair share mm -hmm. of their creativity and their art. Now, what, 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 <laughs> call that, what is, what is the definition of streetwear? It's not really, that question, I really answer like, it's not really a definition because it's what people feel is art. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, a, it's whatever direction or high performing feels they need to dress in their personality of, of clothes, of fashion, right. within themselves. So it's okay. not like a particular thing. It's like, it's how you feel, it's what's in the streets. Okay, okay, I feel you on that now. <laughs> you're a stylish brother. Yeah, I got, I'm pretty you fly. You know, you, you're pretty fly. If I say so myself. But you know, some, sometimes we have to grow into that flyness. Yes, sir. Have you always been fly, or, or what was your style like before this? I was always fly, see, because when my mama got me two pairs of shoes a year, mm -hmm. I wouldn't play so I could have fresh shoes. You know what I'm saying? So I would sacrifice playing. I always wanted to, I was big on my appearance. Right. Um, in school, you know, when you're young, middle school, high school, you know, that's all it's about. It's about your education, of course, but. <laughs> <laughs> about being fly. So I've always tried to have it. Even when I didn't have the money, I always made things look good. My brother, he could draw. So I would have him draw on T-shirts. I know mm -hmm. nobody don't have this T-shirt. So I would be having one of one and it might be a Hanes, but you never knew. Right, right. So. I feel you. Yes, sir. I feel you. Now, 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 speaking of shoes, if my calculations is correct, if I heard correctly, you own between three to 4,000 pairs of sneakers? Yeah, I have. I had 3,000. It's probably like 3,200 now. Uh-huh. OK. Where do you keep those shoes, Offset? Okay, so I got a location here. Uh-huh. In LA, and then at my house in Atlanta, I got like a basement, and like the whole side of the basement is dedicated to my shoes, my babies. Okay, yeah. okay, better question. Okay. Who has more shoes, you or your wife? I think she still got me beat. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> she still got me beat. <laughs> For sure. All right. Um, how did... Let's talk about Migos for a second. Let's get it. How, how did... <laughs> how did this come about between you, Take Off, and, and Quavo? How, how did you guys start making music? So, um, seventh, sixth grade, mm -hmm. we always just... We love music, you know what I'm saying? So right. Quavo and Take Off had already had, like... They got another cousin that's not my cousin that they was already in the studio with when they was kids. And so we got a program called um, Mixed Craft, and we recorded on it. And everybody thought it was a joke. You know, sixth, seventh grade, nobody really believed. And was like, nah, y'all, that's right. whack, it sucks. And then we just kept going with it. It was nothing nobody could tell us. And 
just going through high school, we never wanted to be like these big super artists. We just wanted to take over our town where we was from. Mm -hmm. When they counted the north side where we were from, we just wanted to yeah. touch that and take yeah. over that. And then it started to happen. And then we got a tweet from Gucci. And then that's when it was like a, I knew like, oh yeah, we in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just like, like started with a small green, wanted to just take over his town and ended up taking over the world. Yes, sir. Now, now you guys have a new video dropping. Yes. Tomorrow, Roadrunner. And, and you were the creative director of the video. Yes. What does that mean exactly? I uh, come up with the content mm -hmm. and the visual. Okay. To match the song. So right. You can catch the world again. How, how, how was it direct? I know you were the creative director, but did you have to direct Quavo at all? And how high was he? <laughs> and, and, and I ask you this question because Quavo, <laughs> I had Quavo on my show, Blackish, and I happened to uh, direct that particular episode. That's yes, up. And he turned to me and he was like, yo, big bro, and how I'm doing? I was like, for as high as you are, Quavo, you're doing pretty good, man. <laughs> you're doing pretty good. <laughs> Who smokes the most weed out of the three of y'all <laughs> since we're talking about getting high? Let's be real about it. The most? I think it's, it's a tie, but... <laughs> But see, it's a chick, it's a choice to it. It's a tie, but take off, we call him the doc. Yeah. Because he gonna examine it. He gonna make sure it's, and oh, he gonna tell you, boy, you smoking some bull. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I give him, I give it a takeoff because he's the doc. You give it a takeoff? All right. Let's <laughs> give it up for my man Offset. <laughs> the hype premieres August 12th on HBO Max. August 12th. We'll be right back with Henry Golding. <laughs> 